six-year-old student managed to bring down one of the most powerful leaders in Bangladesh. This young leader didn't just dream of change, he made it happen. We dug deep into the history of student-led movements, and this story is one for the ages. 26-year-old soft-spoken sociology student overthrew the Bangladeshi Begum. At the insistence of the army, Sheikh Hasina resigned her position as Prime Minister of Bangladesh on August 5, 2024, and left the country after hundreds of demonstrators screamed, Go Hasina, go! Although the day was historic, one individual will most likely go down in Bangladeshi history. Nahid Islam is his name. The 26-year-old student leader, with a Bangladeshi flag knotted across his forehead, spearheaded the effort to remove PM Sheikh Hasina from office, ending her 15-year reign. In Bangladesh's tragic uprising that overthrew the government and compelled Hasina to quit and leave the nation, Nahid Islam emerged as a pivotal figure. This was Nahid Islam, a Dhaka University sociology student who became the public face of Bangladesh's political unrest after his campaign overthrew Hasina. What strategies did Nahid use to make such a massive impact? He is one of the national coordinators for the Students Against Discrimination campaign. His journey began as a quiet student at the University of Dhaka, but when the government announced controversial quotas policy for government jobs, Nahid found his voice. He organized fellow students to protest peacefully, calling for a fair system that will reward merit over connections. The movement contends that the quota is a politically engineered and discriminatory scheme for gaining access to government jobs. Little did Nahid know that his actions would soon snowball into a full-fledged revolution. As the protests gained momentum, Nahid's leadership qualities shone through. He articulated the students' demands with clarity and conviction, winning over the hearts and minds of the Bangladeshi people. Initially, Prime Minister Hasina, who had ruled Bangladesh with an iron fist for two decades, dismissed the protests as the work of troublemakers. But as the demonstrations grew in size and intensity, it became clear that her grip on power was slipping. Nahid and his fellow activists refused to back down, even in the face of violent crackdowns by security forces. Hundreds of protesters were killed, but their sacrifice only strengthened the resolve of the movement. Nahid has been outspoken in his criticism of Sheikh Hasina's Awami League party, calling its members roadside terrorists. In a speech to the public, Nahid said that students had taken up sticks and would take up weapons if they didn't work. On July 19th, a group of unidentified individuals kidnapped Nahid, a 26-year-old sociology student, and many other Dhaka University students from a residence in Shobuj Bagh. This incident garnered national attention. He was repeatedly questioned about his role in the protests while wearing a blindfold, handcuffed, and subjected to torture. He was discovered unconscious and bruised beneath a Purbachal bridge two days later. On July 26, Nahid was abducted once more and allegedly subjected to torture by those posing as intelligence services. <laughs> I was able to get the police 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 to Nahid persisted in leading his anti-Hasina movement, despite being subjected to abuse and violence. This movement eventually turned into a tragic protest. Nahid Islam, who was born in 1998, 
has made it his mission to rebuild Bangladesh as a democratic country while defending social justice, life, and the political system. He has vowed to stop Bangladesh, a country of 170 million people, from returning to what he called fascist dictatorship, and he has asked other students to defend the places of worship and the Hindu minority. Chief General Wakar Uzaman of the Bangladesh Army declared the establishment of a temporary government following the removal of Sheikh Hasina. Nahid Islam, however, declared that students would not submit to any administration that was run or aided by the military. Nahid Islam and the student movement have put forward Muhammad Yunus as their choice to lead the temporary administration. Dr. Mohammed Yunus sir naam prostab kori chilam abong achke Mohammed no rashtrapatiyo shomoti diye chen Dr. Mohammed Yunus ke pradhan kore antor borti kalin shorkar duuto shomayen modde gathon kora hobe. Significant meeting chaired by Bangladeshi President Mohammed Shahabuddin. It was agreed that Yunus would take the control of the temporary government. Now, as part of the temporary government, Nahid faces the daunting task of rebuilding Bangladesh. He has vowed to hold free and fair elections, but first, the country must undergo electoral and constitutional reforms. Nahid also wants to see Hasina face trial for the killings that occurred during her term, including the recent protests. He believes that justice must be served if Bangladesh is to move forward as a true democracy. Despite the challenges ahead, Nahid remains optimistic. He sees the protests as a turning point for Bangladesh, a chance to break free from the cycle of corruption and authoritarianism that has plagued the country for decades. As he takes on his new role, Nahid is aware that he is a symbol of hope for millions of Bangladeshis. As the sun rises on a new Bangladesh, Nahid Islam stands tall, ready to face the challenges ahead. With his unwavering commitment to democracy and justice, he has already proven that one person can make a difference. The world watches with bated breath as this young leader takes on the mantle of change. Will he succeed in transforming Bangladesh into the beacon of hope he envisions? Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. Nahid Islam has already left an indelible mark on history. His story is a testament to the power of youth, courage, and the unwavering belief in a better future.